Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to Not Too Shabby Chic. I am at my sister's visiting. She went to work. I went thrifting yesterday. So this is an episode of hashtag thrifted treasures. It's an open collab that anybody can join. You just show whatever you thrifted. Um, it could be from a thrift store, from a yard sale, uh, Goodwill. It could be a deal at Hobby Lobby. Any type of deal, which typically we think of thrift stores when I say thrifted treasures, but any deal that you get, Dollar Tree, anything like that. So I scored. You're not going to believe this. So watch and see. First, I got the Family Treasury of Children's Stories. And it has um, a sticker on it. And I don't remember um, how much I paid for it. I didn't pay much of anything. Look at the inside of this. Look at that, those pages. This is just an amazing book. Look at the illustrations. It's got a page or two cut, cut in, but it's got great. Look at that. Isn't this awesome? Super cool images. And um, deckled, a little, like slightly deckled pages. I just love this book. And the copyright date on this book is 1956. You know, I like me some 50s. So that's one book. Look at this one. I love the size of this. This is going to make a gorgeous journal, a tall, skinny journal. And it's called a knee-high book, Prayers for a Small Child. The pictures in here are amazing. Copyright is 1984, but look at these images, guys. Aren't they beautiful? These children and the prayers, I can't wait to make a journal out of this. This is absolutely beautiful. Fell in love with this book. Isn't it adorable? It's precious. So, love that book. Then I got this old, um, and not that I need any cookbooks, mind you. This one is copyright. Well, I know I saw it one time. The Complete American Cookbook Revised Edition, copyright 1957. I like me some 50s. Isn't that yumminess? And it's already messed up, but that would make a cool cover for a cookbook journal. And has no illustrations, just wonderful, naturally aged pages with some amazing recipes. I just love that book. This book was free. They had boxes in the back of the store that they said they were going to burn because they just didn't have room. So I got to go out there and dig. It was too hot for me to dig much. It looked like they were mostly new books, but I got um, three books that were um, free. So this was one. This board book and I got that idea from Carrie at the Paper Monkey, and she got it from somebody else. But I love the shape of this. Would these not make great writing boards? Or this would make a great little journal and have all your pages like that. Isn't that cute? So that was free. And you're not going to believe this. I got a yearbook for free. Yay! 1971. It's got some fun, and it's got... You know, look at these pictures with the people um, that wrote in it. Just flipping through some of the pages. Super fun photo booth style pictures, as we know we like to get in our um, yearbooks. Cute book. That's the cover. 
that was free. Then I got at Goodwill, I got, um, and my sister's Goodwill, they're real proud of their stuff. I, I think they're a little high, but I love the cards, so I got them. These are vintage playing cards. And you know, I like my vintage playing cards, Seascapes. Isn't that pretty? And I'm, you're getting to see me because I'm filming with my phone at my sister's house. And I don't have any other way to do it that I know of. And then this, this deck has the seagull. So these are fun and I will be sending, can share some of these in Happy Mail because I've got a lot. For those of you beach lovers, and I know there are quite a few of you out there. Then I got these jumbo size playing cards that are hilarious. They're over the hill jumbo playing cards. So on the back of the cards, you're over the hill when you worry about the long-term effect of the sun on your skin, but still love a tan. And then it's got, isn't that cute? You're over the hill when you add God willing to the end of most of your statements. Well, I'm going to go so-and-so, God willing. You're over the hill when you recognize that middle age spread only serves to bring people closer together. <laughs> you don't have to stand as close before you touch people. No one cares anymore about what you did in high school. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're resigned to the fact that certain foods just aren't compatible with your gastrointestinal system. So I'm not going to read them all to you, but I just thought these were hilarious and they're actual playing cards. Here's me. You're over the hill when you're resigned to being slightly overweight after trying every diet that has come along in the last 15 years. That's me. You feel most comfortable straddling two lanes. <laughs> oh, this is funny. You start reading the ads for hemorrhoids, constipation, and hair loss remedies. Worse, you start buying the stuff. <laughs> so, can you relate? So, these were fun. I was never seen these before and was tickled to death to get them. So, fun, fun. Then, I got, look at this. And Getty's, guys. You know she has the most gorgeous children's images, and it's a linen cover. I'm thinking, but I don't know. It might take forever. This would make a beautiful large journal um, or, or a ephemera holder of some sort. The cover, and look at these images. Y'all are just not going to believe this. Beautiful. She's known for the baby images. Let's see if I can find a few in here. Look, isn't that precious? Look, <laughs> fussy cut some of these are gonna be amazing. Look at that, it makes you wanna smile. Look at that baby girl. And I think this one folds out. Oh my, what is this? Oh, it's pregnant mama. Oh, just had her baby next week. With the angel wings. So, that is that. I'm going to see if I can find a couple other cute ones. I mean, they're all absolutely precious. Look at that. I love this one. They're in little cocoons like the butterflies. Sweet. Would these not be adorable fussy cut? And those are made like little cocoons and lights. Look at this baby. <laughs> Cute. So I hope you guys are having a good summer. I'm having a ball visiting my sister. 
and she works during the day, so I play. I've been creating some digitals, and I've got a digital kit coming up. Look at this one. These two little angel babies. Those adorable. So anyway, I thought this was a score. I didn't. The one thing they don't charge a lot for at her Goodwill are books. Um, I'm going to be coming up with a very unique Western journal. Yes, it's going to have the famous Tammy with Texas Tea Sweet Texas Sweet Tea Treasures boots in it. Also, my cowboy hat I came up with, and some other cool stuff. So, you guys are going to love it. Now, this is Better Homes and Gardens Country Dolls. This has some awesome pictures and patterns heirloom dolls look I fell in love with and then you the patterns of course will be of course will be great in our um, journals lots of patterns look at the bride bait bride doll isn't that cute and you have all the patterns for those. Here's look at Granny. <laughs> Adorable, and I'm not sure how they did her face. Maybe felting. Just cute. And the copyright on this, I believe, is the eight. No, 1991. So this was a fun find. Then I got Christmas stitchery. Look, MJ. Teddy bears. Christmas Stitchery, and this has a cool cover that would be great for a sewing journal with the thread and the needle. You could make your own spine. So, um, and it's got patterns for all the things that it shows. Look at this. Beautiful images. Look at the angels. And then of course the patterns. Let's see. Lots of patterns. Oh, look at the Santa. Isn't that cute? And then you've got, you know, the um, pattern pages too. That will be awesome. I'm gonna hold it upside down. Like a pattern for a quilt. So anyway, lots of cute things in there. Then, look. I can do another cookbook or whatever. I'll probably cover the center part of this, but I love the pink with the bright blue. And so I can cover parts of the spine and the front, but let some of that pink show. It's a limited edition. Um, see if I could find the date, 2005. So all of the tabs and things are, you know, are newer which is pretty cool, but it's got some really fun images in it too. Like rice, beans, and grain. Oops. And you know what I forgot to look at? That that doesn't close. Oh well. Fun, and I think my husband can fix that for me. He fixed it on another book when the things are open a little bit. He took some pliers and did something. But I thought that was fun, and there was no extra charge for the fuzz in the middle. It's nasty. Oh, I got to get that out. <laughs> um, then I got Karamia. I got a bag of jewelry for five dollars. Let's see what I got. Um, the majority of this is going to be for repurposing in my journals. But look at that. Won't that be gorgeous? Lots of fodder right there. Those are beautiful. These are like bead caps almost, this necklace. 
and there's gold beads, and then in between are like those things which could be used for bead caps. So that's a cool necklace. And then this is just a gold chain with some little beads. Look at this ring. Don't y'all want to wear that? I know you do. <laughs> Got it. Some of it needs cleaning for sure. This is interesting. But it'd be great for the beads. And if y'all see something you like that you would like to wear, um, rather than me tear it up, let me know and I can send it to you. This is some type of necklace, but these look like little bones, but they're plastic. So I'm not sure. I'll probably just give that to your grandkids unless somebody else wants it. These will make beautiful leaves under flowers for in journals. So a lot of those. This is pretty, gold and clear, great shape. Look at this ginormous hairpin. I've never seen a hairpin that big, but I love the butterfly. That will be great on my journal. I'll leave that out. Then this butterfly, I love, I'll put him in my journals. He is a hair bow. Not anymore, he has a new purpose for life. This is just a tarnished braided bracelet. And this, some cool beads. This is another ring. It's a pretty stone uh, emblem on it. And I love this one. It's a butterfly. And look at this. This is a hair clip. So I'm not sure how to use that and then these are some type of shell I don't believe they're shark's teeth I think they're just shells but I remember back in the day playing those these will make great journal things but it's a functional necklace and I thought this chain is really pretty silver a kink there but it'll come out because I and you can wear it long or you could double it and we have one of these magnet <laughs> chains everybody remembers these these are some pretty dangle beads necklace that I can take apart or unless someone wants to wear it triple strand the the gold part on it is tarnished but the little beads are adorable and this is another pretty gold necklace with those little beads ever so often cute here's a cute bracelet isn't that pretty Um, another ring, the pretty little thing on the front, what you call those things. This looks like um, Southwestern jewelry. Very pretty. See the, like that. I have a bracelet. This one is amazing. And this was $5 for the whole bag. Look at the butterflies, MJ and, um, BB, look at all those butterflies, they're all cute. And this is a cute bracelet, some pretty pins. This is a ring that still has the tags on it. It's one of those um, stretchy rings. We have this um, wrap around bracelet got interesting beads on it and it's just a like a circular thingy this is another bracelet and all of these none of them are broken this says one day at a time which would be cool to hang off of a journal and this is a cool box chain 
another woven bracelet that's supposed to be silver. This is pretty. The rhinestones, none are missing. That's really pretty. This is another bracelet that's really pretty. There's no, there are no beads missing. That's just a little gold chain. We have this necklace with cute little seed beads and some other beads. Fun. Uh, this is super cool for the beads, or somebody could wear it, I guess. And here's another one, a butterflies BB. Look at that. Lots of pretty metal butterflies. Another ring. Lots of those rings. Should I put, yeah, put that over there. Then this is another bracelet. And it's a bit tarnished, so I don't know if anybody would want that. Another bracelet with pretty natural beads and some tiger's eye in there. And last but not least, this little ring. All the stones are there. So that's my jewelry bag. That is, I got quite a bit for $5 that I can um, reuse in my journal. So if you guys saw something that you want, that, and if I'm not going to keep it, I'm happy to let you know. So you can comment below or send me an email. Most of you should have my email. It's dalemcbay at gmail.com. So, oops, I forgot to put these in there. Next, Saving the best for last. I don't believe it. Um, this little dress was a little girl's dress for my upcoming fun journal that I'm going to make. Isn't that cute? And look at the little rosettes. Cute. Then at Hobby Lobby, I got these on clearance. This is fur, white fur that would be beautiful, even phew, shedding for a journal cover or Santa's beard or just for a snowy something. I just think it was great and I ended up getting it for like two bucks. I sent Tammy some of this in the gold. Now I've got fuchsia, This the rest of what was on here for five bucks. And I love this one. It's a cream color sequins on white. And this was um, $4.80. Got lots of that, and I love this. This was 10 bucks, and I'm gonna coffee dye it. Aren't these cute, that wide ruffle? And a bunch on here. Now, last but not least, I got two wedding dresses. Yes, I did. Look at this gorgeousness so i'm going to try to show you here's the, the bodice all the appliques have pearls on them isn't that gorgeous you see the pearls and that's the front then the back has and it's a big one has lots of pearls then it goes down the center for a ways and then it's kind of plain but this top layer is so pretty and soft then you have at the bottom more of the pearl applique isn't that gorgeous oh there's a there's a hook on there so lots around the train i mean it's all over the train isn't this gorgeous And it's super long, as you can see. So, $25, super excited. This is my favorite one. This one still has the tags. 
look at this. This I'm keeping. I may uh, give the other one away or sell it. But look at this. And it's a beautiful cream color of sequins and pearls all over. They go the whole length of the dress, guys. Not just one piece, but the whole length of the dress. Is that not absolutely breathtaking? $25. And it goes all the way down the train. I mean, absolutely amazing. And it's like a net in between so it's not on the satin it's on a net which will be easy to cut out because you don't have to cut it loose from the fabric i mean this is just i was so amazed then underneath it's got a pretty thick soft kind of satin and i don't need any more satin so if anybody wants some satin and then you've got the belt, which will make an amazing closure for a journal. Is this not a score? And it, the new tag said $400 from David's Bridal. That must have been bought a long time ago because I believe this would be more than $400. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous wedding dress. And I was so blessed and so excited I was giddy. I saw them and I grabbed them and went to the, this was at the Fix, the thrift store I go to all the time. And I said, how much for these? And she at first said um, she'd have to have at least 30 for each. And I said, well, you know, and then I, then she recognized me from the last time I was there. She said, oh, oh, you can have them both for 50. And I said, okay, I'll take them. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Know you are loved. God loves you and so do I. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.